Rim Rims, I'm a firm believer in self-improvement. I believe that you should always sleep better than you woke up. You should always try and embrace the totality of the human experience and, and become better. Which is why today I had existential dread. I was slapped in the face by my own futility. This is a series where I am the star. And I mean, look at me. Look at how bright and luminous I am right now. And it's strange. I claim to like build base, yet simultaneously, this base is a hideous monstrosity. Barely even worthy of being called a base. And as I said earlier, I was slapped in the face with my own futility. Somebody shared these incredible base screenshots, and it took me a second before I realized, my god, that was me. I built that base. In the one series where I am me, it's pathetic. It's it's a pathetic shadow of my former self. Perhaps this ties into Operation Flex on Void. Void, who I've yet to fight, so I have no idea where we stand in comparison. I think it's time. I like build base. Now, I think we're probably not quite at the level where I can just say, okay, let's... Ooh, hello. Highly advanced servos, nanomachines, and implants that come with the armor. Oh, there's more to this armor than I realized. Holy crap. 50% manipulation, 200% digestion times 10 hunger rate. Oh my god, we could go even more nuts with the genetic engineering. Uh, faster work speed, 10% extra move speed, minus 50% to the incoming damage. Oh my lord, what is Emperor's Wisdom? 0 0.7 move speed. Plus point, uh, plus 5, sorry, melee hit chance, that's massive. Minus 30% aiming time, holy crap. Oh, well I was about to say, I don't think I'm quite at the stage yet where I can just say let's build a nice base and have my guy click his fingers and a base will be built. But you know what, in hindsight, maybe this is the right time to be building base. Now of course what begins in the pod must end in the pod. Grigner is currently in the pod receiving an architect conversion cycle and I was racking my brain trying to think how do we make this man immortal. We've of course got the immortal genes for myself in 78. And right now I have master of many things. I, at uh, the drop of a hat, I could have an AI crafted to serve my every whim. I could have every resource I could possibly desire dropped right into my lap via this lovely grid of machines. And yet, I don't think we've conquered life or death. I don't think there is a way to ensure that this Grigna could never die. But there is a way we can get around that. Now that got me thinking, how do we tie all of this together? How do I expand the base? How do I make this look nicer? And how do I make Grigna all immortal at the same time? But this is a series about me too. What is Grigna to me other than a tool to be used? Granted, I use him as a tool in real life as an excuse not to have to read things because canonically Grigna can't read. It's simple, isn't it? The answer is staring me in the face. We build an enormous cloning facility. One Grigna dies and another rises to take his place. Now, I haven't used the Altered Carbon mod with the sleeves, the cloning, the cortical stack since before biotech. Maybe, maybe it keeps their gene line, which would make sense, of course, because that's biological. Maybe we bioengineer the perfect Grigna weapon and we just clone him over and over and over. I like build base, and I think we have to turn this base into something better. So first things first then, we fought mechanoids yesterday, they got through this outer wall like it was butter. So why don't we place down a bunch of vault walls, and hopefully that will hold them off a little bit longer. Hideously expensive, 9,200 steel. We already have a lot of these walls just lying around. You can see them down there, right? We case the entire outer wall in vault walls. What if I swap the whole thing out? Is that too far? Am I going too far? Am I going too far? Hmm. I mean, they would never get through this. It's 61,000 steel. Am I going too far? No. I don't think I'm going far enough. <laughs> oh, a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Next part of the plan. Old nuclear facility gone. We need something bigger and better that can power all the turrets I have in mind for this base. It needs to be practical, along with aesthetically pleasing, after all. The next part of the nuclear reactor upgrade is simply just building an advanced reactor core. So we're going to have to build this somewhere. Oh, man, I've got to build it in the middle of the vault, though, haven't I? Can we just reinstall this or will this nuke the base? Oh, we can give it a go. I don't want to cut the whole power grid off by reinstalling this whole thing or doing it from scratch. So we could just use this as a backup reactor. Having a whole nuclear reactor as a backup is a, is a massive flex. Oh, my good friend's void. At long last, they've finally woken up and decided to destroy some mechanoids. Oh, shit. Speaking of people who've woken up, he's actually done. He's just sat there watching TV. Grigny, you didn't say anything. This happened last time we converted somebody with the Arco conversion. They just, they just didn't care. What's going on with your manipulation, though? Alcohol dependency. Oh. So I have, to that effect, planted hops. I mean, I planted it midway through yesterday's episode. So hopefully 
this Grigna won't die, but it's all the more reason to get that cloning project online. Although, to be fair, by the time we've actually fermented some alcohol, I think the poor guy's not long for this world. Um, you can ferment it in here. It seems fine. Ooh, now before I forget, somebody left a comment on last episode because I asked, how do we go above that five power limit? We have the Super Soldiers Unleashed mod that, that allows you to do, obviously, this in the first place, right? But gives you the opportunity to have more than just the standard five powers you get with Vanilla Ancients Expanded. Somebody said it's very simple. You just put down more of the machines that let you have more of the powers. And if, it, if it's that straightforward, then I'm a fool. I'm a moron. Is it really just this simple? We just do that. You enter the pod and then we can click on add new power. It really is that simple. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a bit strong. That's a bit strong and I love every second of it. But first things first, I've just noticed that 78 is still mute. She has one of her weaknesses. So let's throw her back in the pod and get rid of that right away. I'm sorry. That's very cruel of me. Totally forgot. That's me giving Frigna... Frigna? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that wrong. I was going to say this me giving frigging Grigna lightning powers. Well, meanwhile, 78 can't speak anymore. Oh, hey, there we go. I think that was a successful nuclear facility transplant. It's literally just as easy as picking up and moving the bloody thing. Everybody knows that, of course. <laughs> oh, what a mess I've left behind. Well, that's going to give us plenty of room for bigger more powerful, more dangerous reactors. Oh, what am I doing? And the best part is this should still be able to... Well, I haven't hooked those up to water. Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake. Oh, no. I was about to say this. We, what we need is a pumping plant. That's another good building to come up with later on. What have I done? There we go. Okay, we should be fine. What I was about to say is the best part is because one of those turbines was overloaded by the reactor. It's producing more power than the turbine needed to use. With two of them, why are we still losing all this power? Have I not connected the transformers up to the grid? I, I, I really shouldn't be allowed to do this. Are they able to stay full with all of that? Look, they are. Oh, amazing. So we should be making more power than ever before then. Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty well on that front. Hey, come and have a look. Come and have a look at the reactor, genius. 120,000 watts. The problem with this is, though, is we're only using half our turbine capacity, but honestly, that's fine. We, we're extracting every last piece of power from this bloody thing. So let's brighten the place up. Let's make this nuclear reactor a little bit nicer to look at. Now, before I slap down the enormous nuclear reactor in the middle of the base, we need to move the research lab, and we need to move all this other nuclear crap. So I think we'll throw down a dedicated research lab. Am I going to build everything out of vault walls? Yeah, why not? It's not as if they are permanent structures that are very difficult to remove if I make a mistake. Might be a little overkill for a lab, but given the amount of crap that we've got to ram in there, I mean, given how small the lab is currently, I think this is fine. I can make it look a little nicer this way. Now, somebody said that the ancient floors are really nuts for cleanliness. Oh my god, yeah, they drop filth by 80% and they drop cleaning time by 20%. Wow, it's also considered a fine floor. Ooh, ooh, but it's 10 plus steel a tile. How much would it cost for that entire room? 3,300. All right, you know what? Fine. Don't, don't blame me. I just like build base. I don't make the rules. Oh, yeah. By all means, keep sending me mechanoids instead of void. I'm happy with that. Ooh, that's kind of sp spooky, though. Oh, climate adjuster. Now, that doesn't matter. Carry on. Carry on with the building. Lab is done. It's not to my I like build base standards. It's kind of hideous, but it's 10 different mods using 10 different art styles. So, you know what? We're just going to deal with that, okay? Well, I'm just, I'm just going to move on with my life. The room adjacent to the lab, I think we've got to have maybe hospital, biosculptors, genetic engineering, something like that. Then down here, I'm building this enormous room, which I'm going to fill with all of the all of the genome-related stuff. Because let's be honest, it turns out even this is not scratching the surface. Because we can throw in another five of these and another five of these. This is, this is, this is probably not enough, to be honest with you. I am getting the strangest deja vu right now. Another volatile chamber. Another volatile chamber containing another spooky Thatcher-looking monster. If we could just... Do exactly the same as what I did last time. I think we've got nothing to worry about. Just problem solving themselves again. Come on then, little fella. There you are. Come on, chase me down. Follow me. We, then we... Oh, I thought it was going to go into the base. Then Jesus Christ. Then we run right through the mechanoids and they deal with one another. Uh, don't get stuck. <laughs> That's a bad place to get stuck. Hello, mechanoids. How are you doing? Nice to see you all. I'm just going to leap to freedom. Is this how this works? I can just leap to freedom? Oh, it's just amazing. It really is just amazing every time. Now to do a series of tactical leaps to get back to the base without drawing too much attention. This is so good. <laughs> oh, is that the upgraded one? Oh, it's just a shiny one. That's okay. Done. Problem solved. Well, I mean, not problem solved. Either we're fighting the mechanoids or we're fighting the leaper. Holy crap, I think we actually might be fighting the mechanoids this time. Oh, maybe I did too much damage to it. Shit. 
Uh, it's going to be close, but is that not the best news we've got, right? Look at that. He's just taken out the last centipede, and he's almost dead as well. Oh, amazing work. The cool part is this is a tiny window into what's happening out there in the world, right? We're Void constantly fighting the mechanoid ships and destroying one another, and then more ships landing. I think at this point, though, I should probably step in. Otherwise, they'll probably start going for my little constructor bots. Whoa, look at that. They did way more damage than I thought. Oh, my constructor bots are there. Diligently trying to fix the wall as the mechanoids and now the leaper are smashing it down. That's amazing. Brave little robot that could. They actually survived it too. Amazing work. All right, let's go to this bloody cluster. Look at that. Look at... Ooh, a different implant? Oh, no, it's the same implant again. The volatile implant, right? That's the consciousness 5%. Yeah, no, we've seen that one before. And now while that excitement is out the way, we can get back to the very slow base building. Once again, I find myself asking the question, have I gone too far? And then I think, no, maybe I haven't gone far enough. Inside the buildings, we'll stick to this ancient floor because it's clean, it's sterile, and it tastes delicious. But what about outside? What do we throw down there? Maybe you're thinking, oh, paved tiles, concrete tiles, baby. No. What about broken asphalt? The best part is it's concrete in disguise. Oh, it's 3 a.m. Why do I do this to myself? If only I had a love of anything in life as much as I love build base. Imagine the things I'd be able to do for humanity. I changed my mind. I'm swapping it all out for concrete. Trust me, trust me, the asphalt was a little bit too much. It was too much on my poor eyes. So over the top. <laughs> oh, shit. Now that I've just finished retiling this for the second time, it occurred to me I said I was going to terraform it and turn it into a lovely garden. Oh. oh. Maybe we'll come back to that idea again later. Maybe we'll just put a pin in that for now and come back to that later on, eh? Oh, I just love build base. I'm building even more base down here. Can, we, can you believe that? It's going to be symmetrical on both sides. It's going to look amazing until you realize that the vault itself isn't symmetrical and then it's going to look terrible because it'll probably overlap. <laughs> just pretend that didn't happen because I've been here for hours. You've been here for hours. Hey, get in the pod. Hey, get in the pod. I should say that a bit more politely. Hey, do me a favor. Get in the fucking pod. Let's have a look. So if I say add superpower now, look at that. We can get ourselves a, a sick superpower. Ooh, I know this one. This is genius intellect. This is the one I got originally before my head was ripped off by that enormous void monster. 300% research speed. Is that necessary at this point? I don't know. I mean, there's loads more research to do, but we've got all the important ones. What is this? Celebrity. <laughs> 78. I would like to extract that from you and give that to me. 78. Please return to the pod. Please return to the pod and give me that power. Now, this is a mighty fine occasion. I, I I, mean, obviously, we want to build the best characters with the best superpowers possible, right? To stop Void. Whenever Void decided to turn up, the friggin' mechanoids. Uh, simultaneously, if I can make them as accurate as possible too, that's even better yet. Inject me with celebrities. Well, a celebrity. It's a singular, not celebrities, plural. Well, I mean, of course the experiment was a success. How could have that have gone wrong? Ignoring the fact we've got like minus 400% failure chance. Well, I'm, I'm, it comes to me naturally. Where's the scroll bar for my powers? I think I need to enable that separately. Uh, the, the best part is I don't even know what celebrity does. Well, that's tomorrow's problem. <laughs> How's Grigner looking? More importantly, he's got nothing of value. I mean, martial artist is absolutely fantastic for a melee character. It's probably the best melee superpower there is. Simultaneously, I think we can do better. Now, this room was admittedly far too big. So we're going to turn this into the, the, the superpower slash any sort of ridiculous empowerment type room. So I think war caskets can definitely go in here as well as the, the, the psychic trainer. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, look, there's a psychic workbench as well that we'll throw down. How's the power grid looking? Yeah, look, we, we've completely burned through... The best part of the fuel, to the extent that we're now 11,000 watts under, I think before that fuel completely burns up, now's a great time to get another bigger nuclear reactor enabled, uh, especially with all this shit, and this shit, and this shit, and this shit, and what is soon to be all of this crap too. I love build base. What do you mean? How would the mountain roof collapse? Oh, because I'm taking the walls away. No, that does make perfect sense. I, I love build base, but that doesn't mean I'm necessarily uh, qualified to do so. Oh. <gasps> My god, wait, does that even work for melee? I mean, I suppose it would, right? Aiming time down by 50%, range cooldown 50%, it's obviously redundant for Grignot. What is that? Immature. Honestly, that seems perfect for the guy. That's barely even a weakness. That's just in character. Ooh! And immediately, what the? Just send me void already. I am bored of mechagnoids. Me me mechagnoids. <laughs> Why is it so blue? Why have they bought cabbages? Hello? Is there something in the pod that's blue? Uh, 
No, it's just a oh, kind of a frightening amount of mechanoids, actually. Okay, back off, back off, back off. But Grigna's far from mortal. Grigna, get on the gun. Grigna, get on the bloody gun. Uh, 78. Uh, have you trapped yourself in? Oh, no, she's just laying the floor. This is a terrible time to be laying down the floor outside the base. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. No, don't you die on me. Grigna, for fuck's sake. No, 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 no. You don't seem to understand. Ignore. He just won't stop fighting them, even though I've got him set to flee. Move away. Thank you. That could have been a total disaster. Because if he dies there, that's it. Those powers are gone for good. Yeah, can you not shoot that, though? It takes ages for the bloody constructor bots to repair everything. I'll kill that one first. I'm just kind of annoyed at this point. We're not getting void. I have double-checked the mod settings. They are a, a faction that absolutely can raid us. But it's almost like these mechanoids just won't stop attacking us now. Even the N4 infected have stopped turning up. So, ooh, reactor type V. I've had to turn the drills off because they're absolutely destroying my power grid. There we go. That should solve it, I think. And then what do we do? Like throw down maybe a couple of turbines on this one? I think I'm just going to throw them down for the aesthetics part. Okay, well, maybe Void are a little bit too busy to be raiding me right now. Thank you. Either they are scared beyond belief at the sight of these three mighty chads, or maybe we're still not even on their radar. Maybe they just do not give a shit. Don't do not laugh at that. Those are not words that need to be laughed at. This is this is serious nuclear engineering. Thank you. There are no comments necessary to be made on dropping hot loads in the breeder. Thank you. It's breed reactor to clarify. Sorry, I understand why there might be a little bit of confusion there for people who are just listening along. There's no need to drop hot loads in the breeder, he says, looking intently at Grigna. And done. Oh my god, look at how much more fuel that can take. Holy crap. It's like 10 times as much. It's, it's insane. Step complete. Build an advanced reactor core. Test the nuclear reactor. Well, you just... You just would we, would we just turn it on at this point? Power up the advanced reactor and start producing... Yeah, I mean, that's it. So can we build the next turbine? We don't need to do any sort of research associated with that. We can just slap this bad boy down. Ooh. So what I have done is I've built um, some other roof supports that I'm hoping will bloody work. So I want to take these away. Oh, is this going to collapse the whole thing? Oh, well, that was a bit risky. <laughs> I'm glad I did that when it wasn't turned on. Now I want to slap a massive reactor there and then a massive reactor on that side. But I think you have to build... Ooh, look. Oh, is that cheesing it? Because you're not supposed to be able to build one while you're working on the prototype. This is how I built two of those marauders last time. Hey, at least finish the floor first. Don't be like this. Oh, Jesus. We are going to need a lot more cooling now that I think about it. Um, Where am I going to put that? <laughs> I mean, we could use them as decoration. I feel like a lot of these turrets are about to be made very redundant, though, eh? A thousand turbine blades. Wow, okay. Um, we will just queue some of those up then. I mean, luckily, I'm nothing if not efficient. Okay, pumping facility. Yeah, no, great point. Because we can't fill these. We, we couldn't possibly fill these cooling towers with what we've got right now. Did I even get industrial pumping? Or are we still using basic... Uh, water treatment? No, we're still using basic pumps. Oh, shit. Maybe, literally. I need some other sewage solutions here, my friend. Um, waste pack atomizer. What the hell is that? That's not a... Looks mechanites. Ooh. Suitable for eating. Oh, delicious. I like how the original plan was, let's build an oasis in this in this metaphorical desert, you know? Have some greenery that isn't nuclear waste, build a nice garden or something like that. Instead, it's just command and conquer. I mean, it isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think it would have been too cliche. We gotta fight Void at their own game here. That is a lot of uranium we'd invested into this. Holy crap. Boom, look at that. Well, hopefully not boom. I've, I've, I've tried like 20 minutes worth of, of different entrances to the base to turn this into a way where Void are just going to walk into an area where hopefully they're going to be shot. Not a kill box, I'd like to clarify. A box has four sides. This clearly has more. That works quite well. Look at that. Okay, so we've got good shield coverage. Why have I built so many embrasures for two people? Uh, why didn't you mi m mind your own business? <laughs> I guess I have no choice but to fill it with turrets now, eh? I've kind of, I kind of do myself on this one. I've got like some of the drills on, but not all of them, because again, I haven't finished the whole nuclear reactor. I keep getting distracted. I just look at the base and I see a bit that's unfinished, and I think, you know what? We got to tidy that up a bit. Okay, what do we need then? So we've got the console active. Oh well, that's that's pretty much it. We've just got to load the bloody thing with fuel, right, and turn it on. If I load this all with rods, is that irresponsible? Well, I guess we'll find out in a second, won't we? <laughs> this is such a cool approach to Arco technology. Rather than just your standard kind of, you know, greeny, yellowy colored buildings that sit around and do all sorts of fancy stuff. We get these weird node type variants. I'm not going to worry about it for now. 
I've got to, got to find a way to get more water in this bloody base. Luciferian fabrication I'll take, though. I think we've already got it, but I'll happily... Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll take an alternative. Hopefully it's cheaper, because this one's, what, like a <laughs> AI Persona core. Hmm, decorative spaceship. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. I mean, eventually we might use it, right? Please, I just need deep wells. Well, I don't even need deep wells. I need better pumps. I, I think it's actually called industrial pumps. Oh, fine. Give me that. Oh, stop, 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 stop. We've got 100 jobs going here. Let's finish the base first. Then we'll worry about everything else afterwards. Where do I put this? Ah. Uh, where do I put this? This has got to go... This bit goes here. Okay, perfect. That goes right above the door. Right there. He's genius. Oh, my trees. Maybe this little bit could be an arboretum then. Sure, why not? Let's dig up the tiles. And then in theory, if I've done this right, everything should line up roughly like that. Holy shit, it actually does. Oh, that's amazing. Through some actual miracle, it all does line up, doesn't it? Wow, bear in mind I couldn't copy and paste the whole thing because you might notice it's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit buggy. Like I can't even remove some of these blueprints because it just breaks on me because of some of the modded structures. So I've had to do this piece by piece, but I think it's ended up pretty well. Oh come on, please! I'm almost done build base, and then the world is my oyster. That's a lot of mechanoids. <laughs> it's just so simple, right? You take a bunch of wood, you put it on the floor, and it turns into dirt. Oh, you're probably thinking, how do you get wood in a nuclear wasteland? You just grow a bunch of bamboo in glowing plant pots. And then you use a magic robot and digital storage to take that wood and take the bamboo and turn it into wood. I'm, I'm not even sure I know what's happening anymore, and I just built it. <laughs> normal things. It's a very normal series we've got going on, to be honest. What the hell am I doing now? What are you doing, you weird little guy? Making more fuel rods. Are we not? <laughs> I was about to say, are we not already done with that? But not only are we done, it's bloody loaded. Okay. Why do I get the feeling this is a horrible, horrible idea? Can I put it at like, like 1%, 7% power? Start. What about the cooling? Oh my God, the water tower is already like, look at this. They're not even filled. Just turn it on a little bit. Just like turn it on a tiny, small, teeny, teeny little amount. Okay. Okay, okay, there we go. Is this good? Oh. That doesn't seem good. Is that is that fine? Is that sustainable? Oh shit. Well let's crank it a little bit then. Okay. Oh. Okay, then maybe maybe don't do that then. Right, that's good. That's good. We've invested all of our resources into making the nuclear reactor run at about six percent capacity. Really just amazing work there. <laughs> Grigna is our head nuclear technician, so really we were doomed from the get-go. Please, please, please stop, 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 stop. No more nuclear rods. No, 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 no. Where have you been putting them anyway? Oh, just in the digital storage. Oh, that seems safe enough. I don't know anything about this, but that seems safe enough to me. We don't need radiation detectors, right? <laughs> well, I, I fundamentally understand that that is a terrible idea. Simultaneously, I can't get enough water to cool the bloody thing. Darkness is getting annoying, isn't it? Here, you, you two go deal with this. Come over here, smash this to bits. As soon as we've got the power sorted, we can start the work on, on Immortal Grigna. And then he can actually help out a little bit. But until that day comes, it's, it's just me and 78. Oh, God, that's a lot. Are we good? I think we're good. What the hell is that thing? Oh, it's like a weird-looking pikeman. Oh, we definitely need some better armor for 78 as well. Shit, they are just ripping that. I mean, it's only marine armor. I mean, it's not that good. But I met Cluster defeated, though. Oh, I missed a whole building. Brilliant. Hey. I mean, that's it. As soon as these parts are done, that's it. The itch has been scratched. I have build base, based. I... What? I've <laughs> been recording this since 10 p.m. And it's currently half past 6 a.m. It's got, I've gone all, all night. 10, 10 p.m. when I started this or 2? No, it was 10 p.m. Wow. To be fair, I did stop for dinner. Or breakfast. I don't know what you call the meal you have at 3 a.m. A desperation? I think that's what you call a meal at 3 a.m. Anyway. Oh, that actually looks okay. You know what? I think I do like build base. And I think this is okay. Again, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical since the vault is different on, on you know, each side. Oh, this bit sticks out a bit more here, hence the path. But honestly, a little bit of, of asymmetry is, I think, lending itself to it quite nicely. Otherwise, it'd be too perfect. And this is not a perfect world. Lamp. I love lamp. Lamp's are great for decoration. I'm going to throw down some lamp, and then I think I will genuinely call it there. Uh, lamp post. That's right. These, totally random. No rhyme or reason. You throw them down wherever they feel right, and that will make it look a lot more natural. Look, make it look a lot less... 
are horribly over-designed. How to build base 101. We should just do a series of build base. Forget about this void and this silly superpower crap. No, no, no. Just people. Build basing in the moment. And if you're curious, no, the water towers still aren't filled. <laughs> <laughs> I have been looking for the uh, industrial, whatever it's called, the industrial uh, water water pumps, but you haven't got those either. Eternium creation. Ooh, sorry, Athenium. Every single time I read it as Eternium, I think I might need medical assistance. Oh my god, it is happening. I'm not going mad. I think the walls keep disappearing. And I'm not sure why. Look. I wouldn't have deconstructed them because you can't deconstruct them. Why are the walls disappearing? How did I have it before? I think it was like that. I've noticed that happening more and more. They, they disappeared here and I rebuilt them. I didn't really think twice. I thought maybe, oh, I'd accidentally uninstalled them. But it occurs to me if I'd have uninstalled them, they'd be put somewhere because they're the vault walls. Shit. Is that like a limit to how many buildings you can have on a map? Have I, have I built too much of a base? No. We've had this issue before, right? I'm not going mad. Maybe I am going mad. Does this look like madness to you? Okay, here we go. Hot tubs. Thank you. It's not the water we need, but it's the water I've got. Come on. Power showers. No. Ultra mech tech. Oh, is, that a, oh, is that a real thing? I guess it is a real thing. Biotech. Wow, the more you... I've learned so much today. That's really crazy. <laughs> I thought I'd stop the high mech tech. Wow. I, my brain has completely lost the capacity to take on new information. I've realized that now. It's it, it, f Like five years ago, that's it. I, I hit a limit and it's full. There's no more room. Please. Please, I just need water. Deep wells. No, that's the wrong type of deep well. Conveyor networks. No, I don't want to research anything that locks anything new. Maybe I'm missing some like really obvious prerequisite. Deep well? Uh, what is it called? Deep wells. Not those ones. Deep wells. Here we are. Okay, industrial scale pumps. What the hell are we missing for it? Nothing, we just haven't got the research. Oh, psychic equipment, not not that psychic equipment like l but like other psychic equipment. No. No, I don't need these, please. Gas operation, to be fair, would at least let me build, like, real, regular, normal, plain old turrets that don't need manning or anything. <gasps> so you're telling me there's a chance. My god. If you could get me gas operation too, I mean, I'd be very happy about that one. Uh... Uh, close. So close. Oh my god, there's even better batteries as well. To be fair, that's pretty relevant given that I'm going to be able to turn on the nuclear power st station soon. Let's turn, uh, I don't know, this room into a pumping room. Uh, yeah, let's, let's build it up here where it's a bit safer. A bit further away from the front door. Pumping station. Oh, here we go. Um, so how does this work then? We, we throw down a bunch of these and then we, uh, then we just took those directly up to the deep wells, right? So we just need to tap the water and then these things pump even faster. I'm just going to put down like shitloads of these. Why not? Look. Look, it's actually working. We're pumping more water than we're, than we're using up. Pipe water stored is filling up. It's increasing. Holy shit. Oh, my God. He's actually done it. He's found a middle ground. Bear in mind, we haven't turned the reactor on. The reactor might burn through a shitload of water, just keeping cool. Oh, okay. Turn it on. This this has to be enough now, surely. Uh, well, let's keep it on, like, low percent, though. And... Oh! How do I keep this fucking thing cool? How do I keep it cool? Maybe I don't put so many rods in it. I mean, that's a very fair assessment. Yep. Bruh. I'm I'm doing nuclear science. Now is not the time for this. I think we can run it at about 1%. Which is pretty good. You gotta admit, that's pretty good for someone who has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> I think I might have to take some of the rods out. I hate to say it. Hello. How are you doing? It's mechanoids again. They're gonna send us everything but void. Oh, fuck. Those aren't just mechanoids. Bollocks. Okay, ah, uh, Gregna, you need to go and hide. Gregna, you need to go run and hide. You need to get back. How are you doing? How is everybody? Nice to see you. Please don't destroy too many of my bloody turrets. On the plus side, I'm very glad I built turrets absolutely everywhere. Because they shredded them in no time. I mean, they're mechanoid turrets, right? They're charge blasters. I didn't connect them up to the core. Me. <laughs> in my infinite wisdom, I decided to put down some radiators because I was like, well, it's got, t it's got a tenth of the capacity, but even that will help out if I build, you know, ten of them as an extra cooling tower. Turns out if you don't connect the fucking cooling to oh, I Thanks for watching. Come back tomorrow. Begins in the pod, ends in the pod. Get in the pod. <laughs> Get in the pod, Grignard. Tomorrow, we fix the last of the power grid. 
and then we bring Operation Grignor online. Imagine it now. A thousand superpower genetically altered Grignors launching onto Void's base with a helicopter and slicing them to pieces with battle axes. Will that happen? Will it work? No. No, because Void are far too powerful for that, but I can dream. God damn it. Give him a superpower. Give this man a superpower. I genuinely think I almost passed out when I realized I hadn't connected the turbine up to the towers. That really has made me very, very lightheaded. So I'm going to I'm gonna go and lie down. If this episode is light, that's because I've gone for a lie down rather than editing it straight away. Thank you to Bobson Dugnut, Cosmo Senti, Arabs, Sysere, Dan Cool W, Lawbringer, Dust, Jai, JG, Irish Badger, Kerbo Supreme, Elias, Mr. Altissimo, Critical John, C. Clark, Jurgen, Scapegoat, Star69, and Nashi Q, Chaos Prince, Crunchy, Medic, Fairy Wiz, Spidey Cloned, Todd Howard, Night Rouge, Urban Cohort, Spec, Struggler, Pika Pyre, Logan Bissett, and Tyria Him. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, patrons, again for your patience over the last uh, years, but mainly over the past month, especially. Again, almost done with the move almost on like a normal human schedule today notwithstanding and then everything is going to be very very sensible and very normal and very standard very soon until then i bid you all a farewell goodbye <laughs>